The Colombian city of Medellin has been witnessing massive demonstrations in the last few days. Thousands have been mobilizing against a recent decision by the Inspector General, which some call a direct attack on democratic institutions. It all started when the Inspector General's office on May 10th suspended the mayor of Medellin, Daniel Quintero, from his position. His position was revoked for his alleged political participation in the upcoming presidential elections. Inspector General Margarita Gabello pointed out that Colombian law prohibits public officials from participating in electoral politics. The Inspector General's office suspended Quintero for a video that he published on Twitter on May 10th. In the video, Quintero pushes the gear lever of a car towards first and says the change in first. This was interpreted as an expression of endorsement for the candidacy of progressive Gustavo Petro of the left-wing Historic Pact Coalition. The change in first is one of the election slogans of the Historic Pact. In addition to Quintero, many other representatives, including the mayor of Ibagui, Andres Hurtado, were also suspended from their positions for their political participation. Several progressive leaders condemned the decision and accused the inspector general of siding with the ruling right-wing party. They also pointed out that there was a breach of the American Convention on Human Rights that states that an administrative entity cannot suspend an official elected by citizens' votes. Upon learning of the suspension, Quintero took to Twitter to express his rejection of the measure. In a series of tweets, Quintero condemned the decision, stating, that a coup d'etat has begun in Colombia. The front runner in the upcoming elections, Gustavo Petro, also described the provisional suspension as a coup d'etat in Medellin. Petro called on the citizens of the Inter-American Commission on Human Rights to defend the popular vote, stressing that the inspector general cannot evade the popular mandate. The progressive leader also recalled his unconstitutional dismissal when he was mayor of Bogota and explained how the Inter-American Commission on Human Rights ruled against that decision in 2014. Meanwhile, human rights activist Ivan Cepeda criticized the inspector general for being biased. Cepeda tweeted that despite pointing out that many mayors endorsed right-wing candidates, no action was taken against them by the same inspector general. In another tweet, Cepeda also condemned the inspector general for her inaction against President Ivan Duque for his acts influencing public opinion. Legislator Catherine Miranda of the center-left Green Alliance Party also deemed the decision of the inspector general's office a coup d'etat.